Hello. I'm just going around and asking um, every group to talk about um, just one little snippet of something that happened to them in the floods, just so we get that kind of sharing and that, you know, that feeling of we're all in this story together and then we're going to turn this story into something, into these songs and into this performance. Our downstairs got flooded so we had to get all our floorboards redone and so we had to live upstairs. Well, when it rained, we didn't have anything to sleep on. Yeah. Well, when in my bedroom and my mum's and it was in the lounge room. And there was this cement bridge and it broke the whole bridge so the whole main I couldn't get out. And outside, the road was like this much, like it was like a big river and there was water up to this much and we couldn't even see the road. You know, these natural disasters, they, it just comes out of nowhere. You know, something comes along and it can just totally upend your life. And um, that, that's, that's a feeling of being very powerless, you know. Um, especially for a kid, you know, and to see their parents go through that process, especially the parents who've been really hard hit, a real feeling of powerlessness. Uh, being creative is almost the opposite. Like when you do something creative, you're making something out of nothing. It's like there was nothing there and we just pulled threads out of thin air and we make something. And it can be something really fun and it could also be something really powerful. And... Um, I see it as being a, a really great closing the book on this chapter that we could tell stories about what happened at a time when everything was completely out of our hands and we can turn that into something where we actually made something we made something out of nothing and we made something that was really cool really fun to be a part of and the whole community came and bore witness to it. <laughs> And it's also been a good opportunity to teach them some different things um, about rhythm and um, about the guitars and stuff that I use and a, a few things about the way that I make music personally that might be different to other people. It's sort of this weird... So I'm just trying, uh, in light of what we've been through with the floods, um, to create something, uh, something that's a little bit out of the ordinary and um, maybe gives them perspective on what they've just experienced. Okay, you ready? You know this song. This project came about because it just so happens that the two schools I work at have, um, have been affected by the floods. And it also just so happens that some of the parents of, of, of these schools are great musicians, which is very fortunate. <laughs> and, um, and I thought, well, look, it, may, it was obvious to me you know, to put two and two together, really. You know, great musicians, great songwriters, mixed with um, schools where I, I already was working, so I already had a relationship, and also schools where I knew that the, um, the, the, the staff would be on board you know, to step out of the everyday routine of schools is quite, quite a difficult thing for schools to do. And so, you know, both the principals of both schools are really on board and they're really happy and excited and they really understand what it means to have people from outside the school coming in and working with the kids. It's incredible. There's an incredible energy that happens. Um, and so far it's been really fantastic. Oh.